Now, our next topic is somewhat dissimilar to this first one, but it is all as important. It is lab-grown wheat, and instead of in a slaughterhouse, it's actually grown in labs, but it has the same chemical makeup of it. So, give it up for Dan Falk, who's talking about lab-grown wheat.
99% less land usage and 82 to 92% less water usage. In addition to, and consider that it only muscle and fat cells are being grown to this, another waste product like skin or bones or any of that would be resulting, effectively making waste product nothing. Other benefits include that there's, since there's no growth hormones, steroids, or antibiotics needed with synthesizing this meat, it is actually truer and purer to its original form. And contaminants, considering that it's being grown in a lab and not produced in a slaughterhouse, it'll then naturally be a cleaner environment and contaminants either greatly reduced, if not completely outright limited, or eliminated. And all this is done while maintaining the same meat profile that millions of us enjoy currently. Now, as great as slathering meat is, we're not ready. And this is on both the level of consumers and producers. Now, you remember that one slide I talked about, it was, it cost $330,000 to produce one patty in 2013. And it's on down on it. Now it's between $363 to $2,400 for a pound of meat. So, going out here is crazy enough to spend $2,000 on a pound of meat. That'd be insane. But, to keep in mind, this, this price is steadily declining. And companies like, and companies like Just Product produce, or, sorry, predict, that within as little as two years we can be seeing this on a consumer level. Furthermore, consumers are actually are actually not convinced with this yet. And according to the Phenomics survey, only 53% believe it's even equal to normal meat. And this is probably most likely due to the connotation of the phrase black brown. It sounds fake, it sounds artificial. It sounds like something that you probably wouldn't want to try. But ultimately, if you look at history, like from shifting from the like horse round carriage to cars, from adopting airplanes, from things like that. People always approach these technologies with a sense of apprehension. And as, they creep, as this creeps more into mainstream culture, the negative connotation like this will disappear and soon it will be perceived as the norm. So in conclusion, lavender meat is truly revolutionary. It's going to change the entire food industry. But considering it's not in the market yet, its future is still somewhat speculative. With all the, but within 10 to 15 years from now, it's very feasible we can be seeing this on a mainstream status. Just imagine, you could walk into your favorite fast food joint, you could order a burger, chicken nuggets, whatever you want, but instead of your food being a product of slaughter, it's a product of science. Thank you.